LGBTQ plus community have already been passed and signed by Governor Bill Lee. But as Action News 5, Sydney Gray reports a number of nonprofits and human rights and equality organizations currently have pending lawsuits to stop that legislation. And some Memphis organizations are at the center of it all. Some of these laws that have passed are being litigated and some of the laws that uh, have not been litigated yet will be litigated in the future because there are a number of bills that did pass into law that affect our transgender community. Shahin Sammy with the Tennessee Equality Project says it's critical to continue fighting anti-LGBTQ plus laws in Tennessee. Earlier this week, the Justice Department filed a lawsuit against the state's law banning gender affirming care for minors. The ACLU is also suing to stop the ban which goes into effect in July. It's just a gamut of discrimination that's come out of our state that further marginalizes these communities. And so we're going to keep fighting collectively. Kids are not capable of fully comprehending the true long-term risk associated with puberty blockers, cross-sex hormones, and surgeries. Tennessee also made national headlines when Governor Bill Lee signed legislation banning public drag shows. The nonprofit theater company Friends of Georgia's filed a federal lawsuit calling the bill unconstitutional. It's caused people to really be afraid and consider whether this state, this community, places where they have grown businesses, where they have grown their roots, whether this is a safe community for them because of what's coming out of our state. And that's what's so problematic. And while the session is over, Sammy says their fight for equality is not. He also says it's important people recognize how these bills can affect everyone. Just because you don't see these bills and these laws directly affecting you now, they will impact you. And unfairness, just by its very virtue, that's not a Tennessean value and that's not an American value. So we should speak up for all members of our community to be treated fairly because that's just the right thing to do. Sydney Gray, Action News 5. Sammy also tells us now that the session is adjourned, they will be working with partners across the state and the nation to continue helping and educating the community. Memphis Pride events are just over a month away when we asked D.A. Mulroy about possible issues with drag shows. He told us last month he doubts any drag shows in Shelby County will violate the new drug law.